What's up? It's your boy Gator Jewel. Can't be no motherfucking fool, man. I'm here with my boys. I'm Josh Bro. What's going on? IJ Jones, founder and CEO of Underground Hype Club, one half of the Hype Kids. Yes, What's going on, y'all? What's going on? It's Astro, one half of the Hype Kids. My name is Kev, but y'all can find me at Kev the Kid. What's going on? It's your boy Trey Mondo. That's TR3 and 4 ndo Y'all know what the fuck going on, goddamn. Yes, that's Amen. Good. Same man. It's your boy Elijah the Eagle, man. Go follow me on Instagram. Yeah, so we here, we in Columbus, Georgia, man. We in Columbus, Georgia with it. You know what I'm saying? I did a show here, but I have to interview all these creatives because everyone, you know what I'm saying, struck a chord in my heart. You know what I'm saying? I love everybody that, uh, you know what I'm saying, underground music, but I love people co actually coming out and performing and showcasing their work. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to go and start off with inspiration. So if everybody could give me their inspiration, I'm just go down this line real quick. You know what I'm saying? So what inspired you to start music or, you know what I'm saying, just being a creative in general? Honestly, I just kind of want to get my word out there because I feel like what I feel like is, in a sense, kind of what's better for mm -hmm. humanity. So, yeah. like, I, I want a, a word, you know, I want people to hear out what I got to say. Okay, so you just want to be heard, that's yeah. what you're saying? Right, yeah. All right, my M boy Josh. Make an impact, you know, do something good. So he's trying to do good things, you know what I'm saying? If you're out here trying to do fucked up things, get the fuck out of the way, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and get to my boy Jake real quick, but that's what his inspiration is. He wants to make an impact in the world. You know what I'm saying? Speak his truth and tell the truth. You feel what I'm saying? Now we're going to get to my boy Jake. Hey, pretty much. He hit the nail on the head with, like, you know, making an impact and trying to spread a word as creators and artists. That's all we're trying to do is just do our share, you know, in the world. But um, fashion's really what got me into the music thing. I've always been a big music fan. And I wanted to make it. I started off as a hobby. You know, it's, you know, it's a lifestyle. And, you know, I love it. I love all the people I've met along the way. And, shit, I'm still young in this, so we got a lot of ways to go. My boy Jake, you know what I'm saying, he piggybacked off of my man said right here. I always give a little introspective, you know what I'm saying, right here, right, right, because I'm going to let you know I'm actively listening, you know what I'm saying. So basically he's saying fashion got him started into it, you know what I'm saying, it was a hobby. He then grew, you know, the love for the music and created content grew, and then, you know, he's basically just started making music with my man right here, you know what I'm saying. So now we get next, what's my, uh, what's my man's inspiration right here, Astro? Basically my inspiration was, you know, grow up, listen up different type of hip-hop music, type of genres like love, rock, anything it might be. Then like eventually, let's say I was like 13, for real, Nigo touched a different, different genre in me, you know what I'm saying? Like, and just fashion, all type of stuff. So you like uh, Pharrell and uh, Nigo and Nerds yeah. and all that? Yeah. Singing yeah. sounds? Yeah. Yeah, they hit. I'm not going to lie. If, if y'all haven't listened to uh, them or, you know what I'm saying, Nerds, uh, they have an album, Seeing Sounds, one of my favorite albums. Y'all go check that shit out, man. Inspire you, you know what I'm saying? Change your mind, uh, mindset, you know what I'm saying? All right, we're going to get my boy Kev here. I just met Kev. I've really met everybody today here except Jake. I've already met Jake. It's my dog already. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? It's all kosher, you know what I'm saying? Cause we go strictly off of vibes, you know what I'm saying? We missing my boy Hancho. I don't know where my boy disappeared to. But we're going to have to link up with my boy, you know what I'm saying? But Kev is here. I just met Kev. We fucking each other, you know what I'm saying? So go ahead and let us know what your inspiration is. All right, so if we talking about people, I'm going to keep it brief. I'm going to go with X. I'm going to go with P. Girl, spill. But like, if we talking like personal game, like... What motivates you? What's the thing that inspired you to, you know what I'm saying, getting in there? Really, I just want to be relatable because, like, the, the artists that I listen to are relatable and they help me through, like, whatever I'm going through, like, lucky type shit, like... Lucky heart. Or a spill, like, lucky heart. so, like, you going through your own type of shit, like, I want to help you coach you through that shit. Make yeah. your day better. So, you trying to, basically what he's saying, Kev, my boy Kev here is trying to say that he's trying to help everyone out through his music, you know what I'm saying? So, like he said, Lucky is a great person. He kind of just keep it right off the cuff. He uh, lets you know, like, damn, this shit happened to me so it can happen to you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like he said, relatable. You got to be relatable. You're making music, you can't talk about shit nobody knows about because no one's going to give a fuck about that shit. You know what I'm saying? So be relatable. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm going to get my, my man right here. This is Trey Mondo right here. He had a great set. Um, love all his music. I'm not going to lie. Every song that you perform, I thoroughly enjoyed it. You have to make me blush, guys. So, <laughs> you need to take me out to dinner before you start talking to someone that. Nice to me. Everybody like say that. I'm the Rizzler. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn. Pause. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Trey Mondo. Let, let, let's know the inspiration, man. Well, I mean, my inspiration comes from everywhere. I started listening to rock and roll and heavy metal when I was a youngin, mm -hmm. and then it slowly transitioned to listening to hip hop and rap and all that shit. So I try to incorporate all the sounds that I listened to as a youngin and up to this mm -hmm. point, and I try to just kind of find my own little flow. The reason I do that shit 
is because we live in this day and age where like it seems like all the music not just here in the city but even out in the country yeah. and all over the fucking place is always spreading a negative message yeah and i'm getting tired of that shit yeah right now i'm just trying to put out music that people can relate to that people can enjoy people can vibe with you know just people can resonate with. so again we get we keep going back to relatable music trying to make an impact all these people right here are trying to make an impact you know what i'm saying so you know this is a beautiful thing he's talking about being positive you know what i'm saying He's talking about being, making uh, his words impactful, relatable. He's talking about being relatable. He got inspired, you know what I'm saying, uh, off the nerves, you know what I'm saying? I can't blame you, because that's what inspired me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> my boy got inspired by fashion right here. Now we finna get into my boy, Elijah, Elijah the, the Eagle. Eagle, you know what I'm saying? My boy, my boy the biggest bird out here, you know what I'm saying? So goddamn, let us know what's your inspiration. Uh, I'll say my uncle, right? Losing my uncle, because you know, he introduced me to it, and then probably growing up in church, you know, just being around, Hearing people singing and all these type of instruments, it, it just kind of made me want to jump into doing music. And then just, you know, it's, it helped me express myself, not being able to express myself for so long. As a child growing up through high school, not even knowing how to express how I'm going through what I, whatever I'm going through. So now it's like I can make whatever song I can make. I can say whatever I want now. So I know I can talk. So you're saying music basically helped you articulate and express your feelings? Facts. Like I don't, I don't make music just to sound cool or talk about selling drugs or hitting this or hitting that. Like I just really say my life. Like every song is just living my life, and that's how I feel that day or that night, that afternoon. And I just make it to a song. That's my music, my journal. That's his journal. He using he using the the music as a way to you know what I'm saying speak about what's going on with him. Speak about what's going on, uh, you know what I'm saying, in his head, you know what I'm saying? So it's letting him be uh, vocal, you know what I'm saying? Everybody basically basically saying the same thing. They want to be vocal, they want to make an impact in life, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if y'all haven't, I'm basically gonna, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna put everybody's link in their music. Everybody send me our music. Um, but basically, this is just inspiration today. You know, I just want to know the inspiration. So we're gonna cut it, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy Gated Jewel signing out. Can't be no motherfucking fool. I want to thank everybody here. I want to thank my boy Jake for sure. He, you know what I'm saying? He got me out here already in Columbus, Georgia again, uh, performing and shit. So thank this man. Thank everybody that showed up. You know what I'm saying? God bless well, all y'all, man. Seriously, thank you. Bro.